The race for a vaccine, Pfizer and Moderna, showing positive results. More than a dozen potential vaccines around the world now in human trials. Companies racing to have a vaccine by the end of the year at the earliest. And doctors are now worried once they have a vaccine, how do they convince millions of Americans it's safe? Here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim. Tonight, new hope in the urgent race for a coronavirus vaccine. Pfizer today announcing promising results from early trials. Our first vaccine candidate is eliciting antibody levels to neutralize the virus that is equivalent to or better than what you see in people who have had COVID-19. The World Health Organization's latest report shows 17 potential vaccines in human trials, 132 in preclinical phases. The front runners, according to the WHO, Oxford AstraZeneca in the UK, CanSino in China, and Moderna here in the US. Oxford, the furthest along, now in phase three, enlisting more than 10,000 volunteers. If found to be safe and effective, emergency doses of Oxford's vaccine could be ready by October. In China, CanSino given the green light for military use. And here in the U.S., biotech company Moderna is set to begin phase three human trials in collaboration with the National Institute of Health this month with 30,000 volunteers, if successful, hoping to have doses ready by early 2021. While the progress so far looks promising, success isn't a guarantee. And experts warn the vaccines themselves aren't the only issue. Developing safe and effective vaccines isn't the only challenge. We need to have enough supply and potentially hundreds of millions of Americans willing to get vaccinated in order to achieve herd immunity. And doctors say it's key for companies to test large numbers of people, both old and young, to prove the vaccine is safe and effective. If we sort of cut corners on those things, uh, I don't think we're going to create the confidence people need. So I think we can get there, but we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to do it right. And the FDA has said if researchers can show that a vaccine is safe and at least 50 percent effective, they will likely approve it for use. Tom. Eva Pilgrim for us tonight. Eva, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.